Hey, this is Randall jumping on with yet another quick hot take. And this one, uh, this is one I made that before we all started the before we started the YouTube channel. I talked about uh, two years ago in 2019 to start looking at strategic alliances for your business. And uh, the idea being that if you pick the right strategic alliance, you've really and truly positioned your business for long term success. Strategic, we're talking about three to five years and alliances, meaning uh, specific companies that you could work with that do things you don't do that give you a competitive advantage and that um, given some mutual interdependency, both of your companies grow um, and start knocking it out the ballpark with regard to your sales and financial performance. And so that is a proven strategy that has worked for tons of companies. And when Ford looked at this back in uh, 2019, they decided they were going to partner with the company called Rivian. What you have to think through is at that time, Tesla was tearing up the market. Uh, it looked like everything was moving towards electric vehicles. And so Ford said rather than make that investment, they thought they could leapfrog Tesla by strategically partnering with this company called Rivian that had an innovative new technology, uh, but they needed some, some, some money from others in order to really and truly build out their R&D and get to production. So that looked like a win-win for both companies. Ford could actually begin to make a stronger presence in the, the electric vehicle market as they began to transition from fossil fuel and Rivian could bring their technology into a mainstream company. And both companies looked great going forward because they were going to maintain their independent businesses. Now, let's fast forward. You look at this Wall Street Journal article right here, and it says that the two companies are scrapping their plans to develop an electric vehicle. Wow. So you might go, be going, well, Randall, look, um, wh wh what is this whole thing about strategic alliances if, y you know, later down the road, even before the three years happens that, um, you know, it didn't work? And it's like, yes, that is a risk. You have to honor that. You have to recognize that. But you need to look at what's really going on here, why this plan was scrapped. And if you read the article, what it says is that uh, Ford decided to walk away from the relationship because Ford had actually made more investment internally in their electric vehicle capability that they felt like they could do some things internally um, better and more effectively than they could using a partner. Now think about that. Their business changed. And, and, and based on progress that they made in their core business, they decided that the strategic relationship no longer had value for them. Now, look at why Rivian uh, felt comfortable walking away from this. Two things happened. Amazon concurrently made a huge investment in Rivian, and Amazon decided that they were going to use Rivian for all of their their transportation vehicles. And anybody that uses Amazon knows that that's a ton of vehicles, uh, something in the neighborhood of, I think, like 100,000 vehicles is what Amazon has signed on to. And that in and of itself represents a huge opportunity for Rivian. So they're like, hey, Ford, you know, this is great. Uh, this is win-win, but, y you know, because we announced a relationship with you guys, we got Amazon in and our business looks great. And so the point being that, you know, I can't speak to whether it was a friendly separation or not, but it looked like this was a win-win for both companies. Incidentally, Rivian also went public. And so uh, the, the primary purpose of an initial public offering is to get more capital to fund the growth of the business. And I believe in Rivian's IPO, they got um, somewhere it says in here, I think they got like $11 billion or something crazy. Uh, they raised $13.7 billion, like man, oh man. And so, uh, and additionally, if you look at the article, it says that in their initial public offering, uh, Rivian's... Uh, market value is 113 billion, whereas Ford's is only 77.5 billion. So investors are bullish on Rivian right now relative to Ford. So uh, you might go, okay, all right, I get it. That all makes sense. 
And then uh, you get the last piece, which is, oh, by the way, Ford did take, um, you can see down here, Ford did put $500 million into Rivian. They took a 10% stake. So now their 10% stake in Rivian is worth, no, they took a 12% stake. So their 12% stake now is worth about $13.5 billion. So for Ford, it was a good deal. They put $500 million in. They get $13.5 billion out. <laughs> okay, that's a good deal. But the reason we're having this conversation is two things. Number one is you can go get into strategic alliances. Everything looks great. You're still working on your business, which is, you know, you think about the way that I talk about strategic alliances. And um, you can find yourself in a situation that the relationship may no longer serve the purpose that you originally entered into it with. And that's OK. It happens with the big boys. It can happen with your business. So that's OK. The second thing that I want to mention to you, because, you know, we always talk about opportunities for XBEs. Uh, the other thing I want to mention to you is you want to look at this announcement and think through what does this mean, mean operationally and strategically for each of the companies. If Ford is now feeling a lot more comfortable with their ability to drive electric vehicles on their own, what does that mean to their supply chain likewise to Rivian and what opportunities might that create for your business just one of those things opportunity everywhere this one it's a more it's uh this 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 hot take is more about once again uh understanding the power of strategic alliances how this sets you up uh what what it exposes you to what you can do moving forward uh, and how you adjust with what the market is doing your way. But in addition to being strategic about putting your business on the right path for long-term sustainable growth, you can also look at when you see articles like this, what, what are the shifts that are going on in the marketplace and are there opportunities for your business? That's it for today's hot take. I'll see you on the next one. This is Randall. Bye for now.